Hello from Corfu. We have landed and I have fully unpacked, would you believe? I just wanted to get you and unpack everything so I could see what outfits I've got, what I want to play around with. And I'm going to show you a tour of everything that I've unpacked. I've popped away. I brought probably more than I should have for five days, not going to lie. But I haven't been away abroad in a long time and I have no Instagram content whatsoever. So I've seen it as a little opportunity to get some. We've arrived at a hotel, as you can see. We are checked in. The room's a little bit dated to the hotels we usually go to. But don't mind that because look at the view the view this is our view for the next five days how beautiful is that we are in corfu town for five days which we're really really excited about um and yeah we're just gonna explore the place find out what to do i've already been on the happy cow app and screenshotted a load of vegan places some of them also serve ice cream which is fabulous <laughs> because i like a bit of ice cream when it's hot in the little town center up there but i think me and sean we're just gonna get changed get sorted and head into the town and just kind of have a explore and see what's around we're gonna well i'm gonna put swim stuff on just in case we'll go the beach or something like that um yeah so the beach like i'm not sure if there's an actual proper beach but there's like say there and there was a hotel over there which you can pay for some beds and people were kind of just sitting and going in so this is it and like look at the view over there absolutely amazing like i uh, it's just lush i'm in this long dress that i got from pretty little thing oh my god guys this is a great place to show you the outfits Oh, Sean's having anxiety because I've got me tripod wrapped around a little thing. He's like, my heart's going pitter patter, pitter patter. Anyway, this is what I wore to the outfit. Out this is what I wore to the airport. It's a long brown maxi dress from Pretty Little Thing. But I'm not going to wear this into the town because one, I've already got a photo in it. So, you know, that's it done. Just kidding. But I, well, it is basically, yeah. But I'm starving. So in the airport, I actually got like toast beans and avocado um, and I didn't get anything on the plane apart from like a little chocolate bar and a cup bar so I'm actually really hungry so we're gonna get sorted and head into the town I'm just gonna quickly show you around the room this is obviously our bathroom here freebies as always bath and a shower and then this is my wardrobe which I have unpacked got some pants jumpsuits dresses hanging up then i have my underwear my jammies here this is all of my bottoms so i have some shorts and then skirts along the back this is all little tops that i might want to wear my bikini shelf with a bag at the back and then i've got my belt and shoes at the bottom there sean's is in there and then there's our cases here is the bed and here is sean and then this is obviously a little dressing area and then yeah this is an overview of the room so it is a little bit dated but honestly the hotel is really nice and i've got changed i'm in this because we're heading out go i think i've put a little bit of makeup on as well but i think we're gonna head just into the little town see what's around i'm quite hungry as well so hopefully get some food oh there and see horse and carriages passing god it'd be so hot for them This is a hotel here, the Corfu Palace. It's actually just starting to rain, guys. What the fuck? It's starting to rain. And look, there's stairs here into the sea. We're just having a look. We're going into the town. But look at this. I think the town and like main the, stuff's like round here. That's the fort thing you know, on the map. That? Uh, that's definitely, there's a bridge. Oh, a doggy on the pier. Looks like a skinny. We found a little restaurant. The town is like really busy of people. Um, but we found a little restaurant which does stuffed tomatoes and peppers with rice and herbs and they have a vegan option. So I'm going to get that with a side salad. And I think Sean's getting what you're getting a fish stew. Seafood casserole. Um, but the town looks like really busy. There's a lot here. So we're going to have a walk around after and like see what's about. But I found loads of vegan um, like places on my phone which I've screenshotted just so that I've got options and directions. Although we were following one and then I went the wrong way but we stumbled across this one. And there's a really nice bar slash pub literally five minutes from the hotel right on the like beach which does look really nice and it had loads of vegan options as well. So I don't think I'm going to struggle to eat. I never do. Even if I end up with chips and onion rings or something. I always eat. Okay guys so we have our side of bread. Sean's. What is it? Seafood casserole. Seafood casserole looks lush, smells lush. Does it taste good? Good. I still want Sean to get fresh stuff, no fry, because it's terrible for going to fry, burgers, wraps. These are like oily, but I think that's what they do, though, don't they? Yeah. 
that looks lovely though and then my stuffed peppers and tomatoes honestly i've just had a little taste of the um, potato and that and it's absolutely delicious so good start to the, the haul You haven't just go in, man. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. You what? Are you washing your What? Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Just it does it sometimes. I just need a minute. <laughs> okay, well, you sat down. So don't just don't be. Just give us a minute. I can see it. It looks out of place. It is. It's really oh, so. I need a minute. We are off for our meal. Sean fell asleep for a little bit, had a nap, a catch up. We literally just spent most of the day at that little beach place where we went. I was going in the sea, we were getting drinks and we spent most of the day there. And then now we're just heading out for some tea. We're going for a late tea because we had lunch at about three. So it's like, what is it, half eight? Nine. Nine, so. We're going for a late tea, but we know where we want to try and go. There's like that marina place. By the way, guys, I got, I picked up what was called a spiky peach in the supermarket. And that's how my hand got covered in little spikes because of the spiky peach. And it was painful and I've been picking them out all day and it was really, really painful. Hi guys, so we're back in the hotel room. We went for our evening meal. Sean got steak, which is seen. Um, and I got like a ciabatta thing. I'm really full though. I shouldn't have got the chips as well. That was a silly decision. You will have seen it. we're just chilling by the pool we've decided the plan for today is have a pool morning and then when we get hungry we're going to go and look for some lunch we're going to try and do late lunch i feel like the culture of greece from what we went, learned last night is definitely people eating and drinking late so we want to have like a later evening meal as well tonight so we're going to have a late lunch we had a lovely breakfast in the hotel this morning i had beans on toast with mushroom then i had a bit of muesli with soy milk and then I had some fruit as well and Sean had like a fry up and then fruit and a pastry croissant. and croissant. croissant. Um, so yeah, this morning we're just going to have a pool afternoon, just chill. Um, I'm reading this book at the minute, it's called The Rules of Life. Honestly, Sean thinks, well he's just rolling his eyes every time I try to tell him about a verse or anything. Not interested, but I really, really, really love the book. Um, it's it just... It's just a good book. I really like it. I like the way the man kind of explain things to you from a different perspective. So like he asks you questions in the book, like he'll talk about something and then ask you a question about it. And it makes you really think about why your answer is the answer that it is. And then it makes you think, well, realistically, you kind of just don't then think or believe the way that you thought before you read 
the sentence if that makes sense it's hard to describe but it's a really good book and i am enjoying it so that's that i've also got my harvey script with us as well because i do need to get my lines practiced while i'm here Sean's had a dip in the pool. I haven't as of yet. I'm in a cup she bather. But yeah, that's what we're doing this morning. We're just going to have a pool morning. And then this afternoon, I think we're going to head to the beach again. So there's lots of nice little places where you can kind of go into the sea and set up for an afternoon or a few hours. So I think that's going to be this afternoon's plan. <laughs> Roulette, gotta go like this. Let's see if there's anyone there. <laughs> Sean feels awkward. Oh, Lift roulette, go on, go on, go on. Go on, keep it till it's open. Till it opens. Have you shown till it opens? Oh, you lucky bugger. Oh. Hi guys, I've just been in the shower. I've come back to the hotel just to get ready for, basically just to be ready for tonight. Um, we're gonna go to a sports bar. Hopefully Sean will get to watch the match. And then we're going to just stay out and, yeah, just stay out, I think. My skin's really hurting. It must be off the sun. So I'm not going to bother with makeup. I'm just going to have good skincare. I'm just putting some of the Natural Radiant um, little brightens and tone skin thing from Superdrug just on my skin. I mean, my skin was hurting a bit before I come here. I don't know if it's because of the sun that's been at home that's triggered it but I've had makeup on today just a light bit and I just don't fancy wearing any tonight so I'm just gonna do my eye cream which is the one I talked about earlier I actually picked this up in Ireland from there I'm gonna go with a bit of the glow skin perfecting booster serum calms and help reduce the appear of blemishes which I don't have like spots in that, but I am getting like quite a few red patches. Moisturizer, and it's just from the same range, the Glow um, Soothing Face Cream. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. And then obviously my sunscreen, I'm using the Pixie Beauty um, Sun Mist. I use this one at home and I love it. And I use it just on my face every single day. Mm. Two, three, four, doom tech, tech, doom tech, doom tech, tech, doom tech. It's my turn. I feel like there's gonna be some. Of course there is, at this time we're gonna be going back up the room. Bottle now. Damn it. Okay guys, I went for the bouncy blow dry. She said that she couldn't do a curly curly because my hair was so long and that the humidity would just not keep it in. Um, but she did it quite bouncy. I like it, it's like lifted from the root and it just feels fresh and nice. I'm gonna put some makeup on because me and Sean are obviously getting ready. We had lunch at the pool bar today, but we're gonna go out tonight and just see what we can get. I do have a top on by the way, like I've got a little boob tube on, but I do fancy wearing a little bit of makeup tonight, so that's what I'm gonna do. 
Yesterday night I didn't, but I did have some on through the day for a little bit. Okay, I didn't bring like an awful lot of makeup with us because I don't tend to wear it as much on holiday. Like I do like to wear a little bit, but not that much. Day, I like to do like a really light layer so I've just put a light layer of it on and then I'm gonna go in with my concealer this is the NYX HJ Studio Photogenic Concealer in CW100 Okay, and then I don't you oh no before I do that actually I'm gonna go in with some cream contour. This is the Revolution Cream Studio, I think it's called, or Studio Contour. Okay, I never really wear powder at home, but because obviously abroad it's really hot. I've had this for years. It's the Chanel um like sheer glow powder. And honestly, I've just had it for years and I just keep it and every time I go on holiday I take it with us just to give us a bit of powder because it's the only powder that's not like too cakey and it it's actually okay on my skin it doesn't dry it out and then after that i'm just going to take this little eyeshadow palette i think i got sent this but i really like the colors of it um they're just like plain brown colors so i thought i'd bring it with us And then the last and then the two last steps i like to put a little bit of blusher on and i brought the cheek to chick cheek to chick cheek to cheek cheek to cheek cheek to cheek cheek to cheek whatever the fuck this is from charlotte tilbury and i like to just i like to just put a bit on to make us look a bit rosy I'm going in with this Revolution lip. It's in Divine. Um, this is just a really nice brown lip. And then this lip gloss I got from Revolution is in, um, it just says lip gloss. But yeah, and then I just, then a glossy lip. And this is my finished look. I'll show you outside. Oh God, I've, I've got fucking pins and needles just to give you a true representation this is it i really like it it's just everyday kind of natural ish for holiday um and doesn't take as long at all but yeah i'm gonna see i think sean's gonna go in the shower i've just got a coke which i opened Okay guys, so I don't think I've spoke much today, but we're back at the hotel with gigantic donuts. This one on the top here is actually vegan, which I'm so excited about. We were looking at them in jars, like at all the places, they seem to have like huge donuts in jars. And Sean went into this like big place to get um, his donut, which is this one here. And I just happened to say, like, do you have anything vegan? Like, you know, no milk, no egg, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, plain sugar strand donut, no milk, no egg. And I was just like, woohoo! <laughs> so I got one of them and we're just back at the hotel. The one thing we've noticed about Corfu is that once you've had your dinner, or Corfu Town, sorry, is once you've had your dinner, there isn't, like, there's a few bars, but they're not, like, what we would class as, like, pubs with live music. They're not, like, the type of place where you would actually want to sit and have drinks, are they? Nah, they're a bit bit bored once you've had your dinner you're like yeah you know what i mean it's like oh god <laughs> it was like a bit boring like you've had your dinner you know you sit there for so long i mean we sat there for about must have been two and a half three hours yeah, I so I looked online because I was really confused. Like we were both really confused because the waiters weren't bothered about taking my money. Like they were just so slow, weren't they? They really sent me. Uh, well, I, I finished with me. Uh huh. Finished with drinks, so I was like, right, so I just said, home, can I have a bill? And you just it. like, relax. Like, no rush. <laughs> we were just like, but we want to move on. Like, I was like, what am I going to do? I was just looking at me empty plate. <laughs> and, and it's not like he wants you to get another drink. Hmm? He like, literally just walked off. Yeah, like he doesn't care. And he sat down with someone else and talked to them. And then yeah. come back up, so I was like, 
it's like relaxed it's just so relaxed i was so confused about it i was like looking online like greek culture like meals and apparently their culture is to go out like with meals with friends and family and sit for literally three hours having a meal which for us is british people like we're just like usually in and out i would say an hour and a half is a standard meal time if you're having right. a good but meal though, like, it is nice to sit down to your time but yeah it just went a bit too far I yeah. felt like the night was a bit, quite a long way at the night, I felt like. But then we understand it because there's nothing else here in Corfu town. Like, if you're in um, Kavos, which is on Corfu, I think that's the main strip. But we don't want strip. Like, we're talking about when we go to Salou, there's Irish bars, Scottish bars, live music, even the hotels that we go to in Spain. Like, we stay at the H10 chain and they always have the live singers. Well, is that where we stay? Well, we, we usually you do. Want to go there. Yeah, no, but like, well, okay, Sean, calm down. But we have booked it quite a few times. And we do like the H10 chain, but all of the H10 chains we went to, they would usually have live music, wouldn't they? Or a piano or. Just entertainment? Yeah. Right. Some entertainment. Yeah, there's just not even a, a person on a guitar. No. Nah. We can't find anything like that. So we're staying in like Kofu Town Centre. I don't know if that makes a difference, but I've looked like online, I've been looking at like bars and stuff, and it's just like completely different at home. Um, I'll take because it's like it's not a full on tourist, yeah. Yeah, Sean keeps saying There's loads of locals, I think, and he thinks Corfu Town is more aimed at locals rather than tourists because when you go to places like Salo, it's very commercialised for us. They are trying to get us to go there, mm -hmm. aren't they? Whereas here, yeah, it's their place, so they're focusing on them, like mm -hmm. their culture, which I think is lovely. But when you're used to like wanting to go for a drink after your meal and like bar hop and stuff, I just feel like it's not a place. No. Could be completely wrong. We might leave and we might find there's a square somewhere or something. But we have walked for miles around the town and cannot yeah. find pubs. It's pubs we're looking for. Pubs, not yeah. bars, really. Yeah. There is a few like cocktaily looking bars. Um, yeah, but sit there, you can sit in every restaurant now a drink. Mm -hmm. but it's just you not kind of, what everyone seems to do as a like people watch you're yeah. sitting in tubes and you're looking at the street yeah aren't you? and you're people watching mm. you're like it is good and chill but you can only do it for so long yeah So we've just had an amazing meal at a Mexican restaurant. Tonight we've actually decided to stay out and have drinks. It's not really been something we've done while we've been here. You might have heard we're going on about it in the hotel room last night, but it's just not really the drinks type of place. But this Mexican restaurant had a cocktail menu, so we're on to our second cocktail. And then we've just seen a sign for a rock bar in the alleyway so i think we might go there next and just see if we can kind of actually make a night of tonight because this is our last night here so it'd be nice if we could actually go a few places wouldn't it 
Yeah, well, we are here tomorrow night, but we'll have to be up early for the, the yeah. airport, so we wouldn't really want to go to, like, we wouldn't want to probably make that the, the biggest night, really, would we? Okay guys, so we're currently sitting in the main square and I went to a little health shop and got some vegan cake and I found somewhere that does an English cup of tea so we're just sitting here, people watching. This is of you. Just to square loads of people, a nice little thing. And he has shown something, what? He's just got his new speaker off his mark. Oh, but yeah. Sean's worst habit is when people play music out loud. Oh, not my worst. Well, your, your pet peeve, sorry. What? Anyway, tell them what you've done the night. Had me tea. Was it nice? No, it was shit. Worst so, tea ever the night. We, went, we were trying to go to this like place that done like vegan muscata and stuff. Muscata? Muscata? Muscata. Muscata. Yeah. It's like a lasagna, um, which I really wanted to try, but we got there and he was fully booked. So we went to the next one along. I played it safe. I just got a garlic bread for my starter and then a um, spaghetti napoli, which is like my safe option if I don't really know what to get. And um, Sean decided to get what? Cheese pies, because someone on my Instagram said they were getting them. So I was like, well, I want to get them. So like, what was it like? Four? It was like four cheese samosas. But like, it just got big enough to have the third one, like, and then I had a muscala, which is like big, say a big square lasagna. It seemed like a potato bottom, mince, aubergine, all right, and an inch of cheese. And it was Literally, guys, you'll have seen on the vlog, it was like, so thick. Oh, like an inch is big, but like, this is a big inch. So now he's feeling sick because he's that had basically a full bad. block of cheese the night. Yeah, it was horrible. I, was like, <laughs> I actually left off of that. Yeah. But he's actually like done so well the holidays as well. We've had great food and tonight we'll go out and he just blows it by getting two heavily cheese dishes. Like you've been picking like seafood dishes, meat dishes and you're just, you fucked up. Just alright, uh, Feel sorry for yourself. Spoiled the night. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just having, going to have my cup back and then a slice of this vegan cake. Look at that. We found, found a little no shop. i seen it on the Happy Cow app and then... Um, thought well you know vegan cake looks like a bit of me so we're gonna sit here people watch for a bit and i'm gonna eat this and sean's gonna feel sorry for himself and think about where we fucked up I'm traveling back tomorrow so i thought i'd just end this video here because yeah we'll start fresh when we get home but this was our first holiday vlog of 2022 the first one in two years yeah. and hopefully there'll be because it was yeah. start Mm -hmm. Two and a half, yeah. Well, the last holiday we went on was Poland, Prague, Prague, Prague. Prague. March 2020. Which I Just think before. I vlogged, yeah. yeah. But um, hopefully there'll be another one because we've been together 10 years in November. That's our like 10 year anniversary. And we are planning to go somewhere which would be quite special, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. So if that goes ahead, obviously there'll be another holiday vlog as well. And we'd probably like to do another holiday with the pups. We've really missed them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen it. And they love a little yeah. holiday. Honestly, like they get so excited, don't they? Like they just oh I just love them so much. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you again soon for another video. Bye! Bye.